If you read the title of this video, you know that the Helium blockchain is going through an upgrade, proof of coverage version 11. In this video, I'll summarize the main takeaways as well as what you need to do specifically with your Helium miner just to make sure that you're not being affected when it comes to your Helium mining rewards. The final date of the activation hasn't been confirmed yet, but around October 4th or after that is the expected launch date. What exactly is this upgrade doing? Well, there seems to be two parts. One being regulatory, so making sure that the transmission from your antenna as well as your signal are within regulations of the country or region that you're actually located in. And then two is to actually make it so you're forced to put in things like your antenna DBI and then also making sure that you're putting in the correct location of your miner, making sure that people aren't spoofing or faking their actual location and kind of fooling the whole proof of coverage. Before this upgrade, the blockchain didn't really have information about region specific low RAN parameters, meaning that the blockchain wasn't aware if you're in US, you're supposed to have a certain setting, whereas if you're in India, it's another one. The good thing about low RAN is that it's an unlicensed radio spectrum that's free. You don't need a license in order to transmit radio frequencies. But different countries or regions may have different specifications of what level of frequency is allowed. So there's these channel plans with common names, and this is where the US may be different than Europe. India is different than Europe. So that's what is trying to be built into the blockchain. That way, if a country that doesn't have parameters eventually creates parameters, well, then they can do a governance check and upgrade the miners that are located in those regions. You know, making sure people aren't accidentally breaking the law. And that's why when you order the Bobcat, there was two different kind of models, North America and Europe. And you can see these codes are referencing those parameters. And if you look at the Helium hotspot map, well, most of it's in the US and Europe. But as it expands across the entire world, that's where it needs the ability to know the parameters by each country because they do vary. And if it changes over time, they can upgrade the blockchain. And it's actually the point where if you enter in your DBI antenna and it's too high, it'll actually be reduced to make sure that it's complying within the local limits. It's also getting to the point where you can't cross into another region. So if you're on the border, you can only have basically one channel plan. With this upgrade, it also enables future improvements to actually identify those spoofed hotspot locations. If you're not familiar with what spoofing is, it's where the miner isn't actually located where it says it is. These miners may be spaced out perfectly to maximize rewards, but actually all these miners may be in just one house. And since helium is pooled and split amongst all miners on a daily basis, it's important to make sure that we cut out the cheaters and the scammers. And hopefully as more of that gets stopped, more rewards can go to the good guys that are honest and actually providing good proof of coverage. Now for the part of what you need to do in order to make sure that your rewards aren't affected as well as you can help the network become stronger. First step is to make sure that your hotspot is actually in the correct hex or asserted correctly. So if you were setting up your hotspot initially and you weren't really paying attention and you asserted it in another hex, you probably want to upgrade that. It's going to cost $10. It'll just come out of your wallet if you have enough HNT or you need to put HNT into your account in order to pay this fee to reassert. Secondly, and similar to the first step, you need to assert your antenna gain if it's changed. For me, I did switch out my antenna to a 3 dbi from the stock antenna of 4dbi because I'm in the city. So I wanted to change it out and see how the new antenna performed. And so this is a similar situation where you need to update it in the actual app, but this one's cheaper coming in around only 55 cents. And step three, which I think I'm doing with this video, is basically encouraging other people to update the location and the antenna gains. Because if those are incorrect, it may actually impact other people. If someone else has it incorrectly set up, it may affect your earnings as a witness of their beacon. To actually update the antenna as well as the location, if you need to change that, it's really easy. You just go into your helium map, go to update hotspot, and there's some prompts to make sure that you enter the correct gain, the height, and then the location. And when you click the update button, essentially it goes to try to collect the amount of money that's needed to make those updates. As for an impact on earnings, I think the people that get affected the most are the ones that have really high DBI antennas and it's higher than the regulations allowed. So that may be cut back and you may not be able to witness as many people or beacon out to as many witnesses. As for everyone else, I really don't see any upside to this upgrade in terms of earning more. It's more about updating 
updating your information to make sure that your rewards aren't affected to the downside. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like as well as consider subscribing to Main Street Wolf where we talk cryptocurrency, investing, anything to do with money. Thanks guys for watching and have a great day.